In today's diecast review, well, I got some very critical opinions about this car, fellas, and you're going to want to stay tuned to hear those because, oh boy, this thing is oof. Hello, daddy folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again. We got a brand new... Uh, Camaro right here for William Byron, and my goodness, talk about a drastic change from the norm for the Exalted Paint Scheme. This one's kind of a corticopia between the 2017 Dale Earnhardt Jr. and that sea glass paint scheme that he drove at the 2020 Daytona 500. And of course, you know, I have some interesting opinions on this car, so make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for that. And uh, without further ado, let's go and get this Camaro right out of the box. Alrighty, folks, brand new, out of the good old box, and... This is a very interesting paint scheme. There is a lot of people who say, what in the world is this? But there's also a lot of people who say, wow, I actually kind of like this. Look, I'm going to have some very critical opinions of this diecast, and I'll even have one opinion already, fellas. If you get this car, please do yourself a favor and use it as a custom donor. And heck, I, 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 I think uh, uh, Circle B diecast got plenty of all-star diecasts uh, ready to be custom donors for your 2021 collection. Uh, you can go get some free shipping over there, fellas. Any orders $20 or more, uh, make sure to go check out Circle B diecast or Plan B sales, fellas. Uh, any orders $20 or more, fellas, that's diecast. 124s, 164s, heck, you got freaking hats, apparel, I mean t-shirts, you freaking name it. Pre-order all those race wins, anything that's where I get all my stuff from. I never pay for shipping because over here at Diecast Buffet, we don't believe in paying for shipping, fellas. So anyways, um, I gotta say, man, the front of this Diecast has gotta be one of the most God-given, ugly, exalted paint schemes I've seen since the year of the flood. Look, what are they doing over here with the freaking eyebrows over here? I don't know what you call this, whiskers, uh, cat claws, what the, what the biff is this? It's like a stagnant purple, okay? A stagnant purple that just goes across the dome here. Look at the blue. The blue is so God-given beautiful. You could paint a trash can with it, and the thing would look fantastic. But I, I, I just, I don't understand why Hendrick and Exalta want to put these weird stripes on there. Look, I'll say it once, I'll say it again, fellas. You can go on Instagram and probably spend 10 minutes, and you will find it is a design that is so unbelievably epic, has three-dimensional rendering, all kinds of just amazing motion graphics, you, you name it, right? Like, I'm talking like, it is so well designed, it is incredible, it is almost movie, like streetcar paint scheme freaking good, like, it is just incredible. And then you see cars like this, it, it just blows my mind, I tell you what, fellas, if I ever, if I ever had a sponsor a, a race car, if I was ever fortunate enough, I would want my car to be the best looking car on the freaking racetrack. Because I don't care what they say, yes, you want your sponsor to represent, or your paint scheme to represent the sponsor, but the number one thing that hits with the consumers is a good looking race car, right? Think about it, if, if DuPont in 19 whatever said, okay, well our car, our cars are just blue. Well, guess what? If they don't put the Rainbow Warriors on them, we're not talking about DuPont as one of the biggest companies in NASCAR history. You see what I'm saying? You have to have something that's iconic, something that connects with the fans. It's the Bush beer effect with Kevin Harvick. Uh, think about it. If Bush just went out there with a plain Jane car, no one would be caring about their die cast. Well, guess what? They had the best die cast in the business. Got 3M Sunoco, got the 21, uh, 24 right there, uh, Hendrick Motorsports, and oh my gosh, man. Like I said, man, there's about a thousand different paint schemes I have seen on those, you know, the custom, um, what do you call it, NR2003 websites, um, I, I've seen it on Instagram, I'm talking, like, I even know people, like, they're my friends that design freaking race cars. Some of these guys, they even freaking, like, they design actual cup team paint schemes. Like, have you seen the track house cars? Those are fantastic paint schemes, right? You, you think about 2311, they have some fantastic paint schemes, too. Why? Out of every single paint scheme they could have ran, man, they could have made this have, like, uh, they could have had gold flames or something, they could have had, like, a, a smoky shadow pattern, they could have had, like, a three-dimensional, like, geometric shapes that, like, reflect and stuff, like, they could have made this thing the most detailed paint scheme you've seen underneath the sun, and they went with, in my apart opinion, a, a, a bad art project. I, I'm just going to be honest with you, fellas. That's why I recommend custom donors here, man. This is a great custom donor die cast. You got William Byron right there. Valvoline, Liberty, Hertz. Um, I'm glad at least they kept the exalts of the 24 and the Liberty uh, within the same zip code. But this is really interesting. I thought Hertz, I thought they kicked the can 
that's really interesting because this was post the start of the chaos last year, so is Hurt still in business? I have no clue. So you had Exalta right there, Freightliner, Mac Tool, Simeon, Cincinnati Electrics, NASCAR Salutes, Cup Series. I like the yellow Goodyear, it looks really good. Uh, the Exalta logo, I just, I, I don't know, man. Look, there's one thing I like about this car, and it's like this little segment right here. Not the Exalta logo, but it's those little stripes right here. You want to know why? Because it reminds you of Terry Labonte, okay? That would be a fantastic throwback paint scheme. Picture this, fellas. It's William Byron, Donington throwback, okay? Take this shade of blue, whatever, the Exalta blue. Uh, have the tiger stripes on there, uh, like an orange, right? Uh, take this blue, use the 2002 or, or 2003 Terry Labonte paint scheme that he won the Southern 500 with, his final win in NASCAR Cup Series action. And you can put the, you know, the Exalta logos. You can make it kind of cursive like the Kellogg's font. And guess what? You have one of the best paint schemes on the racetrack. And you know how many people would buy that die cast, buy that t-shirt, buy the hat, buy the 120, you know what I'm saying? That's how you do marketing, you know? It, it just, it blows my mind that in 2020, now 2021, we still get paint schemes like this. I'm sorry. Some people like it, but look, fellas, I've seen a thousand different paint schemes that look better than this. That's just me. Sea Glass Exalta's 2020 Global Automotive Color of the Year. The color's fantastic. Like, I'll give you that. This paint, it, it, I mean, I would love to see this on a real car. I'm mean, freaking, could you imagine using this, like, on a freaking uh, beautiful Impala or something, you know? Something really cool. A low rider, that would look awesome. Got Camaro ZL1, 1 LE. I like that chrome effect, very sharp. Uh, Valve Lane 24. And it'll be to the right side of this die cast. You know, it just... The best way to describe this paint scheme, fellas, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt, but it just clashes. I mean, you have stagnant purple, you have non-day glow orange. It's like a stale orange. You know, have you ever seen like an old like newspaper or something, and all the colors are kind of faded? It reminds you of like a, a box of frosted flakes or a box of Wheaties that's been sitting in a um, on a, a windowsill for a, a couple years, and it just fades a little bit. That's what it reminds me of. I uh, got a little bit of a hair there, but I mean, the number placement, y'all know how I feel about that. I believe the numbers belong in the middle. That's just me. But I mean, if, if you just ignore that, I mean, the paint scheme, I'll be honest with you. It's just, it's, it's, it's not hitting with me. It's really not. I mean, look at the purple stripes. I just don't understand it. I just look, maybe, maybe I'm too old school. Maybe I'm too, um, um I'm, I'm in a different neck of the woods, but fellas, I mean, if I had this die cast in, you know, very well, I might turn this one into a custom down the road because I do need some custom donors. But uh, that's what I would recommend this thing for because it's going to probably, in my opinion, a lot of these all-star die casts, they're going to go down in value. But, but that's a good thing, though, because the custom die cast makers are going to get a great deal. That's what I'm saying. Don't go out and, you know, buy all the, you know, brand new paint schemes that are, you know, epic and all that. Go buy the cars that are overproduced or the the cars that no one really uh, purchases. This is a great custom donor. That's what I'd absolutely recommend it for. Uh, I got the Exalta logo right here in the back window. Notice how the T is kind of cut in the middle there. That's unfortunate. You know, that's just decal placement. You press it there, it dries not properly, you know. Hey, trying to put a custom decal right there is a pain in the butt. Got Byron right there, and you got the Exalta logo. So here's my final thought with this diecast. It gives me heavy inspiration for a Darlington throwback to Mr. Terry Labonte from 03. The paint job's absolutely fantastic, but as far as I'm concerned, it's a custom donor at best. But the moral of the story is, um, I would not recommend this car, but I would recommend it for a custom diecast donor. Um, if you're looking for a good diecast. Tell you what, here's a little idea, fellas. Go pre-order the A-Shock Energy Chase Elliott 164. You'll be glad you did. It's an energy drink die cast. They're actually producing it at 164. We may never see this die cast ever get produced again. Um, you never know. You never know because we've seen how the, the five outer energy cars for Boyer dried up. The Monster Energy cars dried up in the early 2010s. A-Shock Energy with the most popular driver in the business. I'm telling you, man, I don't know if they're making it on a base or not. That paint scheme is a 10 out of 10 just about. Go pre-order that die cast and get some free shipping, fellas. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. What is the best all-star paint scheme from 2020, and what is the worst? Hope you're having a great day out there, fellas. Um, don't drink too much coffee. Don't eat too much popcorn. And, um, yeah, don't eat too much beef jerky. <laughs>
<laughs> Anyways, folks, thank you, it's Buffet, signing off.